all right you are welcome back to today's video in my last video or in the previous video i made mentions of styles that you can actually give access to be able to carry out some certain transactions on your dashboard and without affecting your account and of course i explained i i promise us that i'm going to show you how to give access to your cashier and this cashier will only be able to check the history on your transactions you are is going to get password to be able to log in into your dashboard and see some certain transactions like history of your transaction what they have received and what they have sent out of the account and of course uh, this cashier will not be able to check the current balance that you have on your account so you don't need to worry about that and of course this cashier will also not be able to do any other transactions like making bills payments buying of airtimes and all of that and even to carry out transactions like transferring out money from your account so without wasting most of our time let me walk you through on my phone screen and, and show you how you can actually give access to your cashier for your business. All right, for you to give access to your cashier, the first thing you want to do is to ensure you log in into your dashboard or on the mobile on the Money Point Business Banking app or using atm.moneypoint.com as a website and then you click on users when you click on users you want to locate where you see plus icon and click on it then you now select the designation that is is this designation determines the level of access to each row assigned to the staff now if cash any any person that is going to be your cashier or that is your cashier a certain access you can give to this person to be able to do what they are supposed to do and then you now click on cashier then you type in the first name of the cashier you type in the first name of the cashier and you type in the last name of the cashier and you put the email address of the cashier put the email address of the cashier then you now put the phone number of this cashier having done that and then you want to select the business you want to give access to or give the person access to maybe you have more than one account or business account you want to select one of them now let's say i select one of these and I click on add user so now that I have successfully added the user the user can now go to his or her email and then create the profile which is the username and password so so let's go to the person email all right now I've, I'm right here on the person's email and now you can see that there is a new message from money point to the person asking the telling the person let's open it so new staff account created as a cashier who is a staff of this business or company can now create a username and password to be able to assess uh, this business owners dashboard now if you see hi Owana, a staff account has been created for you on money point by amino siaka please click the link below to activate account or copy and paste the url below to your browser and then you can now click a user uh, profile and uh, to be able to access this business uh, dashboard so let's open it
when you click on the link to create the password they want to verify the phone number and you can see they have sent a six digits code which we now which is the otp that this person has to put to confirm the phone number so let's wait and receive the otp the otp has arrived and we want to impute the otp to be able to continue now having imputed the otp we can now create a username and password for this person let's say i'm going to use uh one uh, at one and use this password I'm going to also use this as the password. I'm going to use this as the password. And then click mark the box and click on next. Yeah, you are all done. Your account has been created successfully. So with this, this person will not be able to assess uh, Amin Usiaka as the owner of this business who gave access to his cashier.